We met because um, of Quentin. We were at our house in Bel Air, the first one we lived at. And, and um, he showed up with like five people. And I remember I just said, stay. And he was like, okay. And we just clicked off bat. And off rip, we just had like very deep conversations and, and we connected um, more than I think I've connected with anyone else in my entire life. Uh, with Cooper, it was, it was literally like I met my soulmates. I actually just saw Jaden on his balcony and we just started talking, hanging out, and then honestly became good friends after that. People don't know how safe he made me feel. We talked about Cooper, my, my roommate. Whenever he was going through his drug addiction, a lot of people did not want him around, and he didn't have anyone to lean on. I was with him during that whole time, and I just loved this kid, and I felt like I had to write a song about it. And his best friend, Jaden, wrote him a song, Tell Me About Tomorrow. In so many ways, that song uh, alone saved his life. Mm -hmm. This song's <laughs> so amazing to me. It's like the only song in the album that makes me emotional, you know? You know, addiction is a, re is a really scary thing. And, um, I had somebody super close to me that went through that and almost lost his life. And uh, he he's really the premise of this whole album. He finally made the decision to do the work, to like help himself. It is. Um, like honorable. I'm very proud of him. Jaden came into play and like he was like one of the biggest people who like saved me and like showed me what care was and love. And... Yeah, that... I was. I went on tour with Machine and Kelly and Jaden. Just like going honestly, just like for the shows and yeah. just to be, and hang out with Jaden because like he wanted me to come on. You know, it was so fun. You know, for me after he he passed. Um, it's just kind of like I shut off. Uh, I didn't feel, and I just went completely numb. Two, three days, four days later, you did those two songs, Beautiful Boy, and... Uh, Even in the Dark. You, the night that he was playing MSG was Cooper's birthday, and uh, I was like really torn up, and he's like, when it's his birthday, he was like, yo, I would love for you to come play um, Lonely with me on stage tomorrow, and I was like, like, Kel's... Uh, I needed that, you know what I mean? I needed, yeah. Cooper needed that, his whole family was there. We have this concert in our community. Jaden, you're the only person ever allowed to do it that was not from the community, but it was so perfect. Mm. Thank you. I was just so enthralled with Cooper. Like, I just loved this kid more than anything. I and mean, I was so terrified to go into this tour because it was the first time I'd done this since Cooper passed. The cool thing about the tour was like, it was literally like a Cooper celebration. Tonight, I'm playing for Cooper. And then when I got up there, I just like lost it. Like, most of my purpose is from Cooper. This song is about my best friend and my soulmate, Cooper Noriega. After Cooper passed, we had been going through his stuff, and um, we stumbled upon a notebook. Ultimately, in, a, in the notebook, he wrote "Life's Full of Bumps." Getting ready for my next album, uh, which is called "Life's Full of Bumps." This kid, it was so beautiful inside his heart. And I get to love you. So, you know, I don't think the death of Cooper is really what destroyed me. It's just, it was the, the loss of Cooper, you know.